So we have USA versus Poland, China against France, Japan against Korea. But we are on the red piece with Hong Kong versus Italy. Number one team in the world, the Italians. Banana skin here for the Italians on home soil. That is for sure. Ayub Mohamed Fajani uh, taking control of uh, the first leg. In fact, he'll take control of the first and second legs. And he's teamed up with uh, Chua Eugene. From Singapore, Tunisia and Singapore, Africa and Asia represented in the refereeing field. It's uh, Danny Garozzo going up against Choi Chun Yin Ryan for the first leg. So the last day of the 69th edition of the Wimby. official Fencil World Championships. There were 14 unofficial World Championships. They started in Paris in 1921. Italy, the leading nation in terms of world medals and Olympic medals in the sport. France in second place, but uh, the Asian nations have come on fantastically since Beijing was announced as the host of the Olympic Games way back in the early 2000s. Italy, of course, won the uh, women's team foil gold medal last night on home soil. The 2,000 spectators in the finals arena. Well, most of the 2,000, I should say, were delighted with that, that win. Stefano Cerioni was in the box for that one, and he's in the box for this one too. Danny Garozzo, the 2016 Olympic champion and silver medalist in the delayed Tokyo 2020 Games, gets the attack this time. And uh, Choi calling for a video review. Referee sticks with the decision. Nine legs of fencing in this one. This is the first of the nine. and each athlete gets one video appeal per leg.
contact from the right is no, so Garozzo had the right of way, but uh, he didn't land his attack. And this banana skin is proving to be a slippery one at the start of the match. And Choi takes the first leg. Coming up next is the Tokyo Olympic champion, Chun Ka Long, against the European champion of this year, Filippo Maki. Italians at the moment getting done on uh, the closing counter-attack. Closing means they're shortening the distance, the Hong Kong athletes. Oh, that's very nice indeed. You have to say that Chun Kar Long uh, was the administrator of the change of the distance in men's foil. When he came out in Tokyo, after that period of time where there was no international sport going on, for reasons well documented, in secret, in silos, all the sports developed on home soil. They had no choice but to do so. And Chun Kar Long, with his coach, Greg Koenig, decided, hey, what we have to do is make the distance a bit shorter. And so now the men's foilists all fence at a much closer distance. There is Greg Koenig, the Frenchman in charge of the Hong Kong foil programme. And a para riposte there given for Filippo Macchi to go very high preem and bided his time for landing the riposte as Chung went past him. Final attack from the right. But Chung calls for a video appeal. And as you can see, in the, the preliminary area, the crowd is packed out with Italian fans. Oh, a change of decision for so a good call from Chun Kar Long. Beat attack off target from the European champion. Nice.
Beautiful power of past. And uh, seems to be a bit of needle in this one. Good run from Mackey. Four hits to get to six points, but uh, Hong Kong leading now by four points. Up steps the individual champion, Tommaso Marini. And he goes on against Jung Chi. And first refereeing duties for uh, Chua Eugene Wee Ha Hong from Singapore. So the last day of the championships here, day six of uh, the live broadcast. It's actually day nine of the competition. And we'll be uh, flip-flopping between the men's team foil and women's team Sabre. So if you're a Sabre fan, after these men's team foil quarterfinals, we'll have the women's team Sabre semis. And experience suggests that over the last two days we will run concurrently the streams of the women's team Sabre bronze medal match and the semi-finals of the men's team foil. So get your tabs prepared on your laptops or get your devices set up for two streams a bit later on if you want to watch both. Well, the beat attack fails from Tommaso Marini. Has his weapon checked by Chua, the referee. Lovely little counter block there from Tommaso Marini. And again, Marini misses. I think he got the beat, a little set team beat from the right-hander. But he missed his hit. And Hong Kong proving to be the tricky opponents that I know Stefano Cerrioni thought they would be. Italy favourites for sure for uh, the world title here, but they've come up against a very strong Hong Kong team in the quarterfinals. Cost there for Marini. Oh, 
Oh, that's very, very nice. It's the speed of that attack that uh, made it so successful. Well, Tommaso Marini complaining about covering a target from Jung. Referee not having any of it. So a target score of 15 here means these two teams will be absolutely tied up and a fabulous run from Tommaso Marini. Nine points to four brings the Italians back into the match and in fact into the lead. Choi Chun Yi Ryan on now for Hong Kong and it's Filippo Macchi on for the Italians. We're a third of the way through the match and Italy have restored normal order. This one far from over though, far from over. Choi went 5-2 against uh, the 2016 Olympic champion in the first leg. Now he goes up against the reigning European champion, Filippo Macchi. Referee going to go and have a look at this one. Looks to me to be a para riposte, but the uh, for the Italian. Uh, but the question is about whether he went past, and uh, the referee says no. So hit stands.
So the yellow card coming out for uh, covering, and then uh, Choi goes on the attack. The Italians have been sent out now to go after this one. We're in the middle third of the match. And they want to break the team from Hong Kong, China, in these next three legs. Video appeal from Choi, but uh, looked to me like it was Mackey's hit. And I'm not sure referee Chua and uh, Fajani are going to change this decision. And they don't. between these teams at the moment. I have to say, Hong Kong are the ones looking a bit more, bit more rattled at the moment. Up now is Jung and Garozzo. And for sure, the Italians will be thinking about trying to develop this lead at this stage. Well, if you're wondering what the delay is for, it's because the athletes have called for arm judges, as they used to be known. Su Sang Wong from uh, Korea is in position on Jung's side of the piece, and we're waiting for one more referee to come along to assist Ayub Mohamed Fajani with the judging requirements of the match as uh, Cherioni talks to Fakoni. And it looks like Pascal Maj from France is in position now and the match will get underway again.
Well, there's no small measure of a uh, bit of grit in this one. It was Garozzo who called for the armed judges, and uh, the Italian camp are certainly leaning on the Pascal Maj, who as yet has not given any indication of calling for covering from Jung. Uh, the two coaches are in different places in terms of the emotions. Cerioni eager to get uh, Garozzo fired up, that's for sure. And now the arm comes up from Pascal Maj and a yellow card is presented to Jung for covering. <laughs> Attack fails from Garozzo, and we're all square again. Target score for this leg is 25 points. I think the attack is too for the right, and so does Ayad Mohamed Fajani, but a video review called here. I can understand why Jung has called for a uh, video, but doesn't get the appeal overturned, or the, uh, the decision overturned, I should say. Para post from the right. Searching for the blade, Jung gets hit on the attack.
Very patient from Garozzo there on the repast. One away from the target score now. But it's not been a bad leg for Hong Kong. They've already scored five points. Make that six, and now we have another video appeal from Danny Garozzo. Italians cross the line eventually. Six place five though for Hong Kong in that particular leg. So they've closed the gap up. Up steps uh, the Olympic champion Chun Kar Long against the world champion Tommaso Marini. Quick whiz around the field of play. A career of 24 20 up against Japan in the fifth leg. It's all tied up between France and China. And they're in the sixth leg, 26 apiece. USA. Not having it all their own way, but are leading 25-21 against Poland. Referee looking at the video for covering here, and uh, I think he's right there to award the card to Tommaso Marini. He just turned his back shoulder in front of his front shoulder, and that's allowed, but you've got to lift your sword arm out of the way now, and he didn't do that. Now, was there ducking of the head? And uh, Andre Witkowski, the assistant referee, says yes. And a red card comes out for Marini and a point for Chun Kar Long. Two minor infringements mean a point for the opponent. Nice para post though. protest there from the Italians but no video left for Tommaso Marini Hit given his parry a post for Chung
beat for me comes from Chung Kar Long but uh, attack given right and a video appeal comes in from the Hong Kong team I thought he found the blade there but uh, I have Mohamed Fajani thinks not and lead closed up earlier on in the match but uh, now opened up by the Italians they lead by five Filippo Macchi on the right for Italy goes up against Jung Chika. Uh, we're into the last three legs here. We're wondering what's going on elsewhere. Korea leading 28-23 over Japan. France have just fallen behind against China. 32-27, everyone's been talking about the Chinese team. They didn't perform so well in the individual, but uh, everyone knows the focus for China is on the team event, and they are leading the French team at the moment. USA 30-25 up against Poland. making light work of this for the Italian team misses on the beat attack and now they are looking at the video for a covering of target claim and also whether the opponents have crossed each other and actually whether Mackie had stepped off the piste I think he still had one foot on the piece, so he should get the hit. Lefty against righty, so they're clinging to this side of the piece, and uh, referee Chua sticks with his call. Mackie 4 0 up in this fight. Attack goes through this time. goes through from Young that time looked easy looked simple but uh, certainly wasn't that's all about distance and timing knowing when to launch and again over the line Italy and they've broken away from the team from Hong Kong, they were a big threat for sure, Hong Kong. But over the last three matches, Italy have done a very professional job. So, 
Steps Choi for Hong Kong and uh, Marini for Italy. Get a video appeal. Well, the hand goes up from the assistant referee here for covering for Tommaso Marini. So despite getting the power of cost, hit will be annulled and a yellow card goes out for Marini. calling for a duck of the head from the assistant on the other side Su Sangwon from Korea but uh, he remains completely unimpressed with the appeal and now we get uh, the medics coming out for a hit on the hand for Choi but while that's going on Korea starting to pull away from Japan, 35-28 in uh, that match over on the green piece on yellow. China still leading France. That's a big one. 36-31. USA going into the ninth with Alex Marcialis coming on about uh, against uh, Michal Sesh of Poland. And USA leading 40-28. Medics on for Tommaso Marini.
Well, the parry comes in from uh, Marini, but he did not hit the target with his repast. The continuation goes through for Choi. Hong Kong still in the fight here in the penultimate leg. USA have gone through against Poland, 45-29. So Poland go into the five to eight placings matches, all important as well, those ones, in terms of Olympic qualification. That's 10 hits in this match for uh, Choi Chun Ryan of Hong Kong, China. <laughs> 40 the target, so Marini just one away. Choi has really done a shift here to get Hong Kong China back into this match. They've trailed by eight points coming in. At the most, it's going to be two for Italy. The lead I'm talking about. And now Choi struggling on the piece, but uh, Chua, the Singaporean referee, asking him to crack on with this or call the medic. And that's another one. And Hong Kong are right back in this. Are we going to have the upset of the championship here? It's another attack from Choi. And 13 points scored by the athlete from Hong Kong to four from Tommaso Marini, the individual champion. What an incredible run that was. Marini finishing on a minus four indicator, having been plus five up before that fight began. Choi finishing on a plus nine. And now the anchor leg, Chun Ka Long, the Olympic champion of 2020, against the Olympic champion from Rio of 2016. Garozzo gets the first one and Chung comes straight back at him. Garozzo falling over as he went backwards. Chung immediately up to uh, try and help his fallen opponent back up off the ground. Huge respect between the two athletes. This is massive. This is huge. Beat from Chung. Gets the right of way. And are Hong Kong going to do the impossible and beat Italy in the men's team foil in Italy in the quarterfinals?
Well, this is something that uh, Choi Chun Yin Ryan put into the making for Hong Kong with that eighth leg. A 13-4 run against the individual world champion in men's team four here in Milan, Tommaso Marini. Gives Hong Kong a massive chance and Chung Kar Long has done it again. Oh my goodness me, <laughs> what an attack that was from the Tokyo champion. Oh, Italy going to go out here. This is a huge drama, the biggest one of the championships for sure. If the men's team from Italy go out in the foil competition. Hong Kong won away from a big, big upset here. And they've done it! They have done it! What an incredible result here in Milan. Hong Kong have beaten Italy in the quarterfinals of the men's team foil, and Hong Kong are through to the semi-finals. We will see no Italian medal here in Milan. Unbelievable scenes, unbelievable. I don't think I have seen anything like this kind of upset in the years that I have been doing commentary for fencing. There is a huge amount of needle going on between the two coaches now as well. And the referees and the officials actually stepping in to stop this. It's a massive upset. You can understand the emotions are overflowing here, but for the officials to have to step in, there is a big, big problem. And it's still going on. It's still going on. And now the Italians are stepping in to pull Stefano Cerioni away from Greg Koenig. The, meanwhile, the athletes are all shaking hands.